We're in Legends Lane now, there's a massive blue plaque built into the fabric of the, of the stadium here. You know, are you, are you happy with how it looks? I am happy with how it looks. I was saying to my parents earlier that I normally pull some stupid faces when I play um, some shots, so they've actually got a decent one of me this time. Um, but no, look, um, it's there, it's not going anywhere, and um, I will walk past it with complete pride. And, um, and I've said before, the names that are uh, next to me are just incredible, so yeah, it's just very proud. And there are some big names down there, you know, legends of Sussex cricket. Um, who are you most excited about sharing the wall with? Um, I'm not going to lie to you, Tony Gregg was, uh, I just didn't realise he was, I didn't even know this existed, so to actually just walk past and see some of the names on them was just fantastic, but no, look, I love the fact that I'm next to Luke Wright, that's pretty cool, and uh, yeah, Tony Gregg's pretty special. Brilliant. I mean, you're in the fabric of, of the ground here, and of the, of the many matches you've played here for Sussex, you know, what's, what's been the highlight so far of your Sussex career? Well, look, I think, funnily enough, my most fondest memories of me playing as a kid, um, Playing here, I think, when I was maybe 14, 15 and, and playing along the likes of Claire Connor and her kind of leading the way and probably developing me as a person and into who I am now. And um, look, I think T20, the girls won at T20s this year and I'd like to say I had something to do with it. I did play in the early stuff part of it, but look, they went on and did fantastically well. So I think probably a highlight for me is, is watching this, the young girls come through um, and really stand up and, and show what they're made of and, um, and that's brilliant for Sussex, I guess. Absolutely, and you, you mentioned you've been whisked away. I mean, you've not just been whisked away; you've been whisked away to the Ashes, um, and obviously tonight um, in Australia with you hopefully playing a key role. Um, I mean, what, what are your thoughts ahead of the game? Um, well, it's a final, isn't it? It's a win-win. We have to go out there and, and think that we can win this, and um, we did it so brilliantly at Chelmsford that um, we have to replicate it. There's, there's no kind of negative thoughts or, or anything like that. We have to go out there for the win and um, I'd like to think that the girls have, have got the belief in them and the character in them to go and do that. And what, what, do you, what specifically do you need to do out there? Um, you know, what, what, what needs to be done? Without giving the game away, of course. What needs to be done to beat Australia? Um, well, I think the one thing we did so well was believe in everything that we're made of and I think the skills that we produce, we have to believe in, in them and that we can do them and um, look, they're a great side, and if we perform how uh, like we did at Chelmsford, then um, you know we're tough to beat. Brilliant. And then finally, so I, I will wrap it up because it's just uh, <laughs> the heavens have opened. Um, but you know, finally for the spectators, having an Ashes T20 here in Sussex, um, what's that going to be like for spectators? Um, oh, well, I'd like to think that they'll enjoy it. There's. <laughs> <laughs> The heavens are it's open raining, here. by the way, anyone? Um, <laughs> um, no, I, <laughs> what, if I'm ill, get rained off. <laughs> yeah, um, look, I think that looking at where the series is at, um, Sussex has been so instrumental in, in pushing women's cricket um, for years now, and I think that if we can put on a good show, that's kind of us honouring um, what they've done for, for women's cricket and. Look, it's poised. I think the Ashes is poised as it is, and the fact that we won at Chelmsford was fantastic, and it keeps the Ashes alive. So I just think it'll be a good contest.